Assuming the DOL rule goes into effect as written, uh, I think the impact will be varied and uh, DC plan advisors come in many forms. And so those who are specialists and have been traditionally serving larger and mid-sized clients with uh, traditionally more sophistication in those markets, they're really being pressed already to help those plan sponsors vet the current service provider arrangements against the, the new definition of fiduciary and all of the impact that that could cause if a service provider was formerly non-fiduciary and now is fiduciary. I anticipate that will continue and those advisors will uh, they'll retain those clients and they'll even grow those, that client base if they're able to provide that additional level of support. So it may some that may struggle will be those that have been ultra focused on investments. On the other end of the uh, equation, we have advisors that have served small, smaller size plans. Some are specialists, and those specialists, I think, will continue to thrive. They're actually looking for more scalable ways to serve those clients in one fell swoop, such as MEPs, multiple employer plans. And the, uh, those that are, have been receiving variable compensation are, are therefore conflicted now under the new definition. They will be hard pressed to either eliminate their conflicts and or enhance their additional non-investment related services. For example, helping select and monitor other service providers, administration and reporting, participant education and uh, actionable support for plan participants. Those who can adapt will be uh, protected and I think those who cannot, the attrition will be staggered.